Well, it's what about midnight right now? Uh, on what day? August 18th. Is that right? Might be right. And I got just bought a new um, computer. I got a finally broke down and bought an iMac. Um, I wanted to use it for music production and video blogging to because the, the my uncle's iMac that I've been using for video blogging works a lot better than the one that uh, the, the, the PC that I'm using right here, and the the PC also overloads really easily when you're when you're um, running music and stuff like that. So so anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know that I got a new computer. I put it downstairs where where I live. Um, you know. I'm a mole person. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, got some new video. I got to get things kind of rearranged and moved around. But i um, going to be coming out with some new videos, particularly since I now have, you know, basically free and unlimited access to this, <coughs> this computer that actually does decent or really good, uh, um, you know, videos. And not much else besides that. Um, yeah, well, I guess I can talk about this. Um, the other day I came across a video, or I came across a picture. Uh, let me pull up my Facebook really fast and I'll uh, talk about it. Basically the picture was, uh, it was a picture of a mushroom cloud and it said, oops, there goes Mecca. Um, and then the, the bottom of the picture says, piss be upon them. And so I got a little bit um, upset, I guess you could say. A little upset. Um, da -da 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 -do. I don't do see where this is. All right, here we go. So like I said, the picture was mushroom cloud. It says, oops, Mecca's gone. Smiley face, piss be upon them. So one of the nice things about Facebook is that it does allow you to see what your other friends are commenting on. And um, my friend Steven uh, started commenting on this picture and I was like, you know, that's why I tried to check it out and it was like, basically, um, this thread was uh, just sort of pro killing all Muslims, you know, and we're talking about how awesome this is and I've got to say, you know, I'd rather save this and this is most, you know, this is incredible, I love this picture, you know, it's like, fuck them all, it's us or, us or them, right? <coughs> so, one of the guys said it's basically either us or them. He actually misspelled either. He put a T, a Y instead of a T. I don't blame him, because, you know, sometimes we, we type too fast, and, or if you're touched, or if you're, you know, two-finger typing, you can actually hit a um, a letter and not realize that you hit the wrong letter and then you press the enter button before you've uh, before you've actually read what it is that you've, that you've done so so this is this is the the story that I wrote about about this thread so, so I basically came across this picture on a Facebook feed for Patriots in Exile um, I was thinking about, I was thinking that there would be a large outcry over this photo, but unfortunately it was a bunch of so-called patriots saying it was the most awesome thing they ever saw. That's some shit. person calls them out on it, and one of the, res the response from one of these patriots is, it's either us or them. Take your pick. This is where things start to get awesome. A few of my friends started flooding the page with shaming language while not advocating violence themselves. It's nice to see that you can fight fascists without resorting to fascism. But here's how it went down. So Stephen said, encouraging nuclear war, especially implying one that's ethnically motivated, is wrong. 
our military hasn't spent the last century fighting fascism and communism to prevent acts like that just to start doing the same thing. <clears throat> this guy Garrett said, chill out, Stephen. And I said, we need to understand the non-aggression principle and stop encouraging violence on anybody from either side. So Stephen said, Garrett, you take a look, so you take a look at this picture implying support for nuclear war against an entire culture and say it will be either us or them. Take your pick. I oppose ethnically, motiv I oppose ethnically motivated genocide and you tell me to chill out? That's rich. I said, how does this masturbatory murder fantasy not make you, guys, make you look like the bad guys that Al-Qaeda believes you to be? So another guy, Buffalo, said, Defending yourself, your family, and all of human humankind from a foe that, is, that truly wants to murder everyone is a murder fantasy. It's not a murder fantasy. It's a purely logical response. Stephen said, Buffalo, as, as part of, a, of the last national intelligence estimate, our intelligence services informed Congress that there are less than 50,000 militant Muslims spread across the world working against U.S. interests. According to Wikipedia, uh, well, I guess I actually missed that one. Okay. Uh, so I said, the, the, Mecca, the people of Mecca as a whole have done nothing to warrant this form of response. By promoting the idea of unilateral strikes on basically innocent people, fascists are terrorists by definition. No better than Al-Qaeda. I understand the idea of self-defense, but don't advocate killing Mary when Paul was the one who aggressed against you. Paul said, Islam is more of a culture of hate than a religion of peace. I don't think nuking them is a good move, but neither will I have any qualms about killing them if I witness an act of aggression against my fellow Americans or family. And my friend Brian said, it's disgusting that some people's sense of humor is based on the hated and dehumanization, or the, on the hate and dehumanization of the entire population of people who are different. You guys make me sick. And I said to Paul, we talked about religion, Islam being a religion of culture or a culture of hate than a religion of peace. I said, Paul, I would agree that you should be justified in fighting aggression in a manner that doesn't violate the non-aggression principle. Islam is a religion. There are things in the Quran that specifically advocate uh, violence against Muslims, and I don't agree with it, and I don't advocate it. And I think that is wrong. And I said, however, what we need to do is to discuss and inform Muslims of the, the non-aggression principle and give them an option to em embrace it. So there was a few more patriotic statements that fetish, fetishized murder. And then uh, this guy, whatever his name, William, said, Patriots destroy their, their enemies. Liberals kiss them. And Brian said, uh, William, patriots indeed. I think the word you were looking for was murderers or perhaps psychopaths. And I said, I have never kissed anybody in, in Al-Qaeda, nor do I want to. You are still stuck in the, cons in the conservative, liberal, false dichotomy. My hope is that one day we will wake up to the fact that the political system in general is a traditional divide and conquer system. And I said, uh... And then I went over the list of, of uh, um, the different things that are that are in, that are talk, talk about uh, about fascism. I, I I didn't write that down on this, but I said uh, uh, I talked about the, the the reasons why the Democrats and the Republicans were both fascist parties. And I said the Republicans also love jingoism, which is another fascist element. Uh, <laughs> Jingoism, which involves turning complex thoughts into simplifications that are untrue. For example, the quotes, Patriots destroy their enemies, liberals kiss them, and it will be either us or them, take your pick. Brian said, wow, one sane voice in a mob of bloodlust, some faith in humanity restored. I said, uh, this picture is the irony of fighting terrorism with an even larger form of terrorism. Um, I have... I will uh, put the link to this on um, the video so you can actually read the thread. But uh, I think it was uh, I think it was quite an interesting video, or twice, sorry, quite an interesting thread. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I enjoyed having my friends hop along. So thanks, guys. Um, I do appreciate it. Well, have a good.
evening and I'll see you later. Bye.